Hello everybody, it's Kanan, and welcome back to another episode of Kanan's Nights of Horrors. It's episode 50, and so I decided what better way to celebrate the 50th episode is to play The Convenience Store. Now this game came out a couple of months ago. Um, I did not get to play it when it first came out because, well, my older computer could not handle the game. But this one handles it just perfectly, it seems. So hopefully it's a smooth experience for us all. So I've heard a lot of things about this game. I heard it's pretty creepy. So uh, let's find out for ourselves, shall we? Let's play the convenience store. Well, got me a drink or something. Okay. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Such an awful feeling. Movement, interact, options, okay. Oh, well, this is... That looks like blood, but I think it's just... Oh, I, have, I don't know what that is. Uh, who did that? That scared the crap out of me. Sleep slept well. Okay. What's it? It's dark outside. Well, yeah. I mean, it's nighttime. You you obviously work the night shift. A little heart pillow. Okay. Okay. What's in here? This looks like a kitchen or like. Mm -mm. An area to cook, cook. You know, this right here, I guess, is technically your kitchen, but all, you, all we've got some fridge and a microwave, so. Yeah, that's the that's the real food kitchen. Gotta bring flashlight, okay? Guess I gotta find the flashlight. That's the toilet. Ah. Pick up flashlight? Why, yes. Oh, we got a flashlight. Woohoo. I'm really digging the, like, the old video recorder quality of the graphics. It's awesome. Uh, I need to eat something, change, and grab a flashlight before I leave. Okay. So I've got to change clothes. I guess I'm naked. I did just get out of bed, so. That's where the, ah, there they are. Change clothes? Yes. That's the sound of us getting ready for work. Getting dressed for work, at least. Ugh, such an awful feeling. So, food. Oh, well. Got a nice little assortment here. Do I cook it in here? Okay. Do I make it in the microwave? Warm it up? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the before work meal never really tastes good, does it? It's not really enjoyable. You know, you've got to hurry up and eat before you head to work. And I mean, this game is called the convenience store, so we work in a convenience store. It's obviously the night shift, so you're looking at a very long, boring shift. I usually close at work, so yeah, the closing shift is usually... Uh, is usually really, really boring. Eat bento? Yes, unless it's busy. That's a very crunchy bento. Okay, so I... Okay, so why is there a m mouse plushy-like thing on the table with a packet of ramen? I'm guessing that's ramen. Okay, well... I guess it's time to head to work. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Do we have to actually... Well, I better close my door. Do... I thought it would just teleport us to the convenience store. Do we have to actually walk to it? Well, that's, that's cool. I have no idea where it is. Let's see, shift is run. Okay. Let's 
the locusts or cicadas are out, so I'm guessing this is the summer. Oh, is this somebody else's place? Okay, I don't need to mess with other people's stuff. Well, that's not good. Thought that was going to be a little shortcut. Am I even supposed to go down there? I've never had a job that I... Is that... Is that it over there? I've never had a job where I actually had to walk to work. Okay, so how do I get down? Ah, here we go. Yeah, I've never lived like actually in a in the town per se because my family usually lives out in the outskirts. Which right now we live out in the country, so I mean we don't live anywhere close to work. But yeah, never had the privilege of living so close to work that I could walk there. Okay, not so bad. Not much is going on. Is it a walled community? A gated community in a way? I hope I'm going right. Ah, okay. I'm obviously going the right way then. Man, there is just like nothing here. so dark it looks like just like an abyss well at least where I work is really really bright it's kind of oh, oh. okay oh god you made it hmm was he supposed to say good or was that a typo I don't know Oh, no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said that she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. So I guess he was meant to say God. If only this was a true story. Ha ha. 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 Sorry. Okay, so... I guess I, I gotta go clock in. Okay, so. Enter counter? Well, yeah, we gotta go to work. Ugh! Ugh! Okay! No, no. Okay, that, that, that was not cool. Okay. I guess I gotta use see no we don't need to use that right now I gotta punch in I guess it's this where's the punch in her Oh, that photorealistic face. I have... Oh! A and D. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh no, that's that's gonna be terrifying. Well, where's the punch-in thing? Ah, okay, here we go. 
Okay, so what's this? I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. Up. Oh. Well, God, he just bounced. Okay, well. I guess I better get my duties done. Okay, so. We got, ooh, that looks good. Okay. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like the pop, the, uh, pop, what's that? Oh, we... Well, I better be a, a good retail store person and bug him. Okay, he's just... I guess I better get back here. So we got a customer, so... What is up with that walk? What is this? Ooh, I know what I'd be doing on my shift. I'd be eating all that. <laughs> uh, come on, man. I got stuff to do. I'm great at customer service, am I not? <laughs> it's nice and bright in here, so it, so it won't be too spooky. Dude, what is this? Okay, um... Well, that was simple. This shelf looks fine, okay. This shelf looks like... Ooh. Sorry, I'm marveling at the food. Looks like some are expired. Take items off shelf? Well, yeah, that should... Can I only do one at a time? Yeah, I guess I can only do one at a time. Okay, so I guess I gotta take this trash out. Do I put it though? Oh, I can actually leave? Ah, let me back in. What the heck is that? Okay, the door's broken. Is it back here that I take it? Oh, boy. Ah, yeah. I really hope that wasn't a customer coming in and it was just the doors malfunctioning. Shut that. Shut that. Okay, I... Yeah, I don't see a customer, so... Wait, what? Oh. So, did I just, did I just leave that bear? Looks like someone expired. Well, let's... Doing my job. I get paid for this, so... What's this 
over here. Something's blocked off. Okay. Uh, I don't like this. I do not like this. Why am I still carrying my flashlight? Oh, okay, there, I turned it off. I was like, why am I still carrying my flashlight while I'm working? Okay, anything else? All the per Oh, you the... It's kind of late for delivery, man, at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to the store. Oh, the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Where'd it go? Do, do I have it? And he just walked right through the door. Okay. Uh, well, before I look into... I rarely buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. <laughs> oh, so these are magazines. Okay, I thought it was like the pop stars and anime. So is there a way for me to open this package? Ah, there it is. Take it home. What? What's going on? I was just at work. Why am I... It's a videotape. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, there is nothing in there. What the hell? What is going on? Watch closely. Yeah, what? Oh boy. What? Okay. Um. Time to go to bed. Did I come home just to... What was that? That was a door. Did, did... Did I leave work to bring that home? Oh! First night. What's going on? I am so confused. What the? It got way darker. I left my door open. I left my freaking door open. Wait a minute. Ah. Okay, for a minute I was like, it won't let me close my door. 
So what did I just play? Was that a dream? Oh yeah, that's the one I can't go down. I cannot see. I can barely see at all. So, I still don't get it. Was that all a dream? Okay, after just completely, like, running around aimlessly, because I could not see at all, I finally made it back to the store. I still want to know, was that a dream, or did I really just leave the store just to take a... Hey, hey, so I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Oh, okay, so that wasn't a glitch. Well, we gotta gotta check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Okay. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. Yeah, you, you, you wanna, you wanna bet that? Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's punch in, again. That's my task tonight. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. Dang, he, he's already gone. Let's look at these just for fun. Whoops. Sit out accidentally. Left it open, it looks like it's been knocked over. Okay, well, I guess I Is that a customer? No. It's a guy leaving. Okay, well, I guess it's up to me to go, uh... Someone's here. Hello, Granny. Oh, you're having a hard time, aren't you? Well, I guess I gotta... Okay, well... I guess I need to wait until she's done. Ma'am, anything I can help you with? Are you looking for anything in particular? No? Okay, I'll just... Well, we got some really great magazines over that way, if, if you're interested. This month's issue was really, really good. Um... Man, there's no panic button, no baseball bat. I'm being nosy. Let's... Ah, Granny just needed to pee pee. Okay. Man, at that pace, she's already went on herself. Okay, well, she's gonna be a while, I have a feeling, so... Let's go, uh... See if we can do anything to get rid of the rats. Wait, what's this? Oh boy, we're we're gonna kill some rats. Ah, that's awful. Well, maybe no, not really.
Yeah, somebody didn't leave it. Oh, no. I don't... Well, they left it open, but they also knocked one over. What the heck happened? I gotta get back to the front or I'm gonna get fired. Oh, ah, oh, crap. Hope they don't mind me carrying it. Rodent repellent or. Ugh. Well, let me, uh. this down. Oh yeah. There we go. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigars? Um, you can get it yourself. What the heck? Hurry up, you asshole. Okay. Are these cigars... I guess so. Let's see some beer. Some... Psycho, get it yourself, yeah. That's what I say. Which one of these is beer? Ah. I guess this is beer. So I gotta do these one by one. Ugh. I drop. I put them on. Whoops. I'm gonna get fired. I'm so gonna get fired. Is Granny still in the bathroom? Dude, really, if someone came in and like demanded me to fetch all their items I would like be like nah like if, if they asked nicely and like didn't know where to get it like hey could you help me find this and grab it for me then yeah that's fine but to just demand when you could There. You better pay for it. Thank you. Well, at least he said thank you. It's Granny. Ah, Granny's out. Okay. Well, I guess the rats will have to. Thought I saw. Hello, ma'am. Why couldn't you have came out and saved me from the douche? Hit him over the head with your walker. It, it, she's not moving. She's... Okay. She must need help. I hope that's what it is. Yeah, she's just standing there. <laughs> no! No! Mm. Oh my god, that gave me goosebumps. Oh, god. Uh, huh? Where's King Coon? You know where King Coon is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you have to. Ugh. She's out of her mind. She's senile. Uh, I got rodent spray. Oh my god, that was... I've got rodent spray, and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, 
Oh, that was creepy. Okay. This was her daughter's house? She's either out of her mind or something used to be here. Okay. Ah, got him. Okay. Ah. What the heck? What's that sound? Oh. That's great. Those are broken. What did she do in here? Did she... Was that supposed to do that? I don't... That was... Okay, um... Is there someone I can call about that? Why not? I mean, it... aha. I caught you. It's a kid. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh, I can't leave. Okay. I saw them. It was a kid. Okay. I gotta find this last rat. That old lady still creeped me out. Yeah, flashlight would probably help. Aha! Got you! Okay, well, tonight's, uh... Tonight's task is done. Anything back here? I haven't even looked. Nope. Oh, looks like we got a truck. <sighs> Left the bathroom door open. I mean, come on. I don't see a delivery bag. I don't see a box with him, so... Yes? Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online 
Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Uh, um... That's not it. Ah, okay. You have a package? Yes. Okay. Let's check the cameras. Just to have this for fun. There's no customer, so I might as well. I just get a feeling I'm going to see something. Well. Nothing on that. Rats. I already did that. Is there like a save function or no? Okay. It sounds like it's raining. Let's get umbrella. Oh yeah, let's let's get umbrella. They left my freaking door open. Can it? Yeah, why not? Is it my day off or another videotape? get it. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be seeing there. Well, I guess it's time to go to work. Oh, that rain is loud. Okay, my door won't close. What was that? Uh... Where's my buddy?
Uh, I'm not on the clock yet, so I can't do that. I'm following real life rules here. Where's where's the dude that's supposed to be here before me? You son of a... Oh, you bastard. Boo. I'll boo you in a minute. Uh, I got you good, huh? Yeah, you did. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. Is it raining indoors? In there, I thought I saw rain. Like, that's a glitch. Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning, your manager. Anything going on on the cameras tonight? Man, he got out of here quick. Oh, did you see that? That looked like the little kid from the other night. Oh no, the kid's a ghost. I saw that. Um, um, uh, stocking, stocking. Let's let's do the stocking. Looks like ramen. Okay, so where do these go? Are they go in there now. Yeah, I see raindrops in front of me. <laughs> That's a. Oh, that was me. I guess right here. Gets me every time. Jeez. Hmm. There's empty spaces here, but it's not letting me put anything down. Yeah, it's definitely raining indoors. Anything else back here? Let's drop these here. Let's try another item. What the? Oh no. That door opened. What this? Okay, the door wouldn't open. Ugh. No. Not right now. Maybe I just wasn't pushing it good enough. I don't know, but it... It did shut on me. What's that? A doctor? I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. 
Um, I have a feeling I need to watch this dude. Oh, he's going that way. Wait, that goes around, because that's... Oh, no. He... I should see him around that way. Let's wait and see if we see him coming around. Oh, yeah, because those are the air conditioning units right there. There he is. Dude, you don't, you don't even have an umbrella or anything. Can... Oh, I, I'm guessing he's done already? I really expected to see something like watching him or something. Well, besides me. Guess we should see him run around the corner here in a sec. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Customer coming. Something's going on. Oh, I guess he just left. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Let me know if you need anything else. You stock? Yes. Okay, I found those. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll keep I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Well that was very sweet of her. Oh well, yes, it's a nice gesture. I had a feeling I was playing as a F uh, female, but I didn't want to assume. Okay, let's get this restocking done. These look like they're, th they're the things that go over here. What was that? Ugh. What the heck is going on? Darn thing locked me in the bathroom. What the? What? 
um, pink slip, uh, I'm giving my notice immediately. Oh my god. Oh. What's happening? What the fuck? Oh, that camera's messed up. Okay, for some reason something is haunting a convenience store. What am I supposed to do about this? Is there ev even any point in restocking stuff right now? I guess. Oh no. What do I, what do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it. it down back here or now that I've picked this up is anything changed that one is messed up Why am I staying? Why don't I just leave? I'm sorry, working at a convenience store is not that great of a job. I can get another one. I would just leave my notice, and I would write a notice, and I would leave. I'd lock the store up, and I'd leave. Put the ta put the talisman on the haunted toilet. So you're not say so, okay. So it's not giving me the option to. I guess I gotta go outside. What is that? Exercise the door? I guess? Dude left his stuff and just left. He just left his tools and left.
Okay, so I exercised the door. That, that that's was good, right? I don't know how I had the knowledge to exercise that door. I'm I'm, I'm gonna just check just to make sure there's nothing. Okay, I don't, I don't see anything. Okay. Oh my gosh, that one jump scare got me like real bad. Well, I guess back to stalking stuff, even though my character is not making any movement to clean up the mess. Anything else besides the stuff I haven't put out yet? Okay. I gotta find a place for this stuff to continue, I'm sure. Do they not go here? Gotta be in one of these rows. Yes. There. Job well done, right? But what about this mess? Well, she's she's not making any effort to clean it up, so. Anything else back here? No beer, no ramen. Okay. Still good out there. It's about time for the delivery man to show up. Okay, well, I don't know what else to do. I posted, I don't want to go back to it, but was I supposed to do more at the door? Oh, okay. Then I was supposed to pick it up. Yeah. Oh no. That's manager.
What is going on? No, 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 no. What's going on? Four. Okay, like I've been playing this game for a while now, guys, and I really want to see what else happens because I don't think this game has a save feature. What? What a nightmare! Was it all a dream? I'm curious to find out. Okay, I can't leave. Oh no. Obviously it wasn't a dream. Okay. Okay, what kind of night of horrors are we going to expect here tonight? I'm pretty much going to try and beat this whole game since this is the 50th episode. So this might be a longer video than normal. Okay. No co-worker. Is he going to try and scare me again? He ain't going to get me this time. No, no punch-in clock? No. What is going on? The camera is fixed. <gasps> the door's open. Oh no. <laughs> oh. What? Toilet? It's not working. Oh no. What? What is this? They're all TVs. What the? What is going on? There's... Why did I come to work? Locked. Okay. <gasps> They're still ramen. Ugh. Turn it on. Am I supposed to turn on all these TVs? Thank you. 
Is there a combination I've got to do them in, or? Uh, door's still locked. What the hell? Do these still work? Yeah, they still do. Okay, that TV. I guess the top TV there. bottom of that one. Okay, I... Let me go one more time. Okay, so that TV... so I can keep up with this a little bit better. Okay, kid. Okay, so that one is correct. I believe he comes over this way. Okay, that one all the way up there. Okay, right where that space is, right there. Right here. Oh man, I think it's this one. right there. I want to make sure I got those first two right though. I'll look 
looking real close. Yeah, that one I'm pretty confident I've got. That one I think I've got as well. Okay. Bottom one on on that row. I believe he comes down this one. Bottom one down there. Okay. Wait. That was this one. Last one I want to double check because I'll have to start all over if I get it wrong. Okay, that one on the far, I'm pretty sure I've got. This one, I'm pretty sure I've got. It's this one, I'm not sure of because it's not a great camera angle. I guess it's the bottom one right over there. That one I'm pretty confident in as well. So yeah, he goes to look at that one. He comes around here. Uh, it's either one of them. I'm gonna guess this one. That one, that one, that one, that one. Damn it. that one wrong. I think it's one of the top ones. I can't turn it off. Alright guys, I'll be right back when I get this figured out. Sweet, I think I did it. that okay that's still wrong 
out. One. What the? So I can't go. Oh, God, it scared the crap out of me. Okay, stop that. No, oh, that's annoying. Oh, man. Trash. Send it off to someone else. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Get rid of this thing. I ain't watching that crap. I beat it! I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, There seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate this incident further. September 14th, the man was the man 
the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shop grocery shopping to a local supermarket when the wife came back and said that she was killed in an extreme way he then hung himself on the same day they say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death the woman was killed with several nails punctured into her along with her child and her stomach jesus i wanted to throw up from the obscene images but i knew i had to continue there was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him according to him the man was often harassed by his boss at work, and he had complained to several colleagues. And one day of the on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful with the tears in my eyes. I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I experienced during the night shift and why I, I had. I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. O uh, franchise leader that I had never met. I had a feeling of a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, "The manager is dead." I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, he said that there was an old storage behind the convenience store, and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible so not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. Uh, poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means of courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. When I looked, when I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Ugh. Okay, so we got a lot of backstory there. So yeah, <laughs> woo! Great game. Um, very simple in what you did, but uh, if you are interested, go support them on Patreon, guys. This this was amazing. Um, very like very simple, like in its setting. As cup ramen, like <laughs> that's funny. Um, So what I liked about this is that it was just centered around one location, and it being a small location, like a convenience store. And it seems like simple locations like that make really good horror games. Like, and even though for most of the time you had no idea what was going on until you learned the backstory at the end, but now it kind of all makes sense. And you know, pretty much the convenience store was on haunted ground. Um, once again, go support support them on Patreon. Thanks for thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making this amazing game. I really wish I could have played this months ago, but uh, hey, better late than never. Uh, just wow, an amazing horror game. Scared the crap out of me a good couple of times. Um, so yeah, that was the convenience store. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to play it yourself. Um, Check the description also for Twitter, uh, Patreon, um, Etsy store, Square store, all that great stuff. <sighs> yeah, th this was an adventure. Pr a pretty long Let's Play, but I figured, hey, it's episode 50. I want to do something special. So, hey, I completed the whole game in, in one go. If you would want me to play it again and get the other endings, let me know. Because apparently there, are, there is more than one ending. Um... Let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want to see the, under, the other endings. And um, just, wow. Go play this game. It is amazing. So, this is Kanan. Your host of Kanan's Knights of Horrors. This was episode 50. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.